So here's a question for you. When is a rape not a rape? And if you answered when you've got really good swim times, I'll give you partial credit. And if you answered when you're nominated for the Supreme Court, I'll also give you partial credit. And if you answered most of the time according to the conviction rates, I'll also give you partial credit. But the answer we were looking for this week was when you fall asleep in Spain. You may have already heard this story, but in case you haven't, let me fill you in on the details. Apologies in advance because it starts with five men gang raping a 14-year-old girl, and it doesn't exactly get better from there. The good news is that they got caught and got charged with rape, but the courts ultimately decided to convict them only of sexual abuse because the victim was unconscious. That's right. In the eyes of the Spanish judiciary, the fact that she was unconscious made it less rapey. Apparently, the laws in Spain define rape very narrowly, such that it has to include specific acts or threats of violence. So I'm not sure if women sleep in groups with a rotating person on watch, but if not, maybe they should consider it. Or maybe they should just wait until their stubborn lawmakers fall asleep to take their revenge. And speaking of shoving things up people's asses, my next story is about pee robes. And I know Pat Robertson gives shockingly bad advice isn't exactly a newsflash, but this one is so bad I had to mention it. A young woman calls his show. She tells him she has a baby and her and the father aren't married, but they are considering moving in together. And she wants to know if Jesus will be all good with their cohabitation. Now, as you can imagine, P. Robes immediately assured her that no, Jesus would not be okay with that. So no, don't move in with him. In fact, don't even date him anymore. And what's more, stop raising your kid. That's right. His literal advice was that she should break up with her boyfriend and give her child up for adoption because anybody who would blithely have sex with a person is no kind of a parent. Judging entirely by her voice, he felt qualified to make the following assessment. Quote, you're not capable of getting into marriage. You're not capable of raising a child. You don't have the time or patience. And all of a sudden, when the pressures of marriage and motherhood come upon you, you won't be able to handle it, end quote. And look, I'm kind of tempted to agree that any woman going to Pat Robertson for advice shouldn't be entrusted with the life of another human, but I also recognize that she's a victim of the Christian effort to devalue women, especially women who <gasps> have sex. But I'm going to close on a kudos to the condom company Trojan for an advertising campaign that seeks to counteract that. They just put up an ad in Washington, D.C. that takes up a whole wall and is completely made of chewed gum. In the negative gumless space, the ad reads, you are not chewed gum, a reference to the common abstinence-only claim that having sex with a woman that has lost her virginity is like chewing used gum. And look, it's a sad fucking world we live in where anybody has to sell fucking, but I'm still glad somebody's doing it. So on that high note, I'll take my leave of you and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 